We're going to be using a TSI DP calc to measure airflow velocity, uh, total airflow rate and volume per minute, cubic feet per minute, and the velocity pressure inside a ventilation duct. So we've got our, our pitot tube hooked up. Here we've got the velocity pressure line and it's hooked up to the positive port on the, the meter and our static pressure line which is hooked up to the negative port on uh, our meter. Uh, before we take our measurements we need to make sure it's set up right. So we're going to go to the menu and to zero the pressure. So it's going to find, it's going to set the pressure of the ambient air that it's taking in right now as the zero point for our measurements. Uh, set up the display to make sure it's showing all the parameters we want. We've got the flow, the velocity, and the velocity pressure. So that's how we want it. Uh, we've got the flow set up. Set it to a round duct because we're going to be using a four inch round duct. The diameter is four inch diameter. select either actual or standard. We're going to have it measure actual pressure so that we don't have to adjust our, our uh, measurement for uh, the pressure at our altitude. Set the temperature to 70 degrees. I set the barometric pressure which at our location is 25.4 inches of mercury and we're ready to measure. We're going to insert our pitot tube into the duct with the, the inlet facing into the airflow. And turn, we can turn on the fan. I hit the enter button which uh, measures over the course of a few seconds and, and gives you an average. For our average we got 2,012 feet per minute with, which with the size of our duct give us, gives us a volumetric flow of 175.55 cubic feet per minute and the velocity pressure associated with that was 0.214 inches water.